Hello everyone and welcome to another Disney Magic Kingdoms Decorate Your Kingdom video. I hope you are all well and I also hope that you are enjoying this series. If you are, make sure to go and check out the rest of the videos that are in this series in our dedicated playlist as well. You're probably a DMK player, so come and see our Disney Magic Kingdoms playlist as well and hopefully at some point you can join one of our live streams. Now, we love hearing from you, so make sure to get in the comments. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video at any time, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you enjoy this content. And follow us on Instagram and threads at Disney Kingdomers for all your other Disney content that we upload on those platforms. Today's video, we are talking about... The Princess Fairy Tale Hall. We'll go through all the in game information that you'll need to know about this Disney Parks attraction. Then we'll talk about some fun facts and history about the real life attraction in the Disney Parks. Okay, well, let's get started uh, with the DMK version. So, how to build this attraction? Well, it's actually available in the Streak Rewards calendar on day 47. The building time is instant and the size of the attraction is 13 by 13. The activity it does is dusting chandeliers. The collect time is 12 hours and the base rewards are 24 experience, 162 magic and a chance of getting Prince Charming's ears hats. This attraction does have enchantments. So level one, you get a chance of getting the blue fairy hat token and an extra seven magic. Level two, you get a chance of getting Flora's ears hat and an extra 10 magic. Level three, you get a chance of getting the green fairy hat token and an extra 13 magic. Level four, you get a chance of getting the gold crown token and an extra 16 magic. And then level five, you get a chance of getting two tokens and an extra 19 magic. The Princess Fairy Tale Hall is part of the Cinderella attraction attraction cinderella collection sorry everyone okay well that is all the in-game information about this attraction now let's find out some fun facts and history on this attraction okay so the princess uh, fairy tale hall is a character greeting spot featuring several disney princesses such as Cinderella, Rapunzel and Tiana. Additionally, if one of the scheduled princesses happens to be off on a royal errand and another princess is visiting that day, the sign will let you know who you'll be meeting instead or if there's a surprise in store. Once inside, You'll wind, through the, uh, you'll wind through several turns of the line. These two are decorated in true royal fashion with uh, ornate iron gates, fancy chandeliers, colourful banners and beautiful arches. After the last turn, you'll step onto a rich carpet and enter the hall where you see portraits of Princess uh, Aurora, Princess Jasmine Princess Tiana, Mulan, Snow White and Rapunzel. Princess Fairy Tale is built on the site of the former attraction Snow White's Scary Adventures, which opened with Walt Disney World, uh, sorry, in Walt Disney World. Snow White's Scary uh, Avengers closed in May of 2012 uh, to make way for the new... Oh, sorry, that's me. Uh, a new meet and greet location. Princess Fairy Tale Hall officially opened on, in September 2013. And then from April 2014 to June 2016, 
guests could meet Anna and Elsa in one room, but now their meet and greet is in Epcot in the Norway Pavilion. So after all that information, where should you put this attraction in your kingdom? Well, it's probably fairly obvious, and Disney Magic Kingdom's fandom suggests in Fantasyland. So let's go and take a look in my kingdom where I have mine. Okay, here we go. We've got to make it big again because it always goes small. Okay, so we're in the central hub, and we're going to go straight forward. We're going to head into Fantasyland as well. So I believe mine is on the right-hand side. Now, looking at the pictures, I believe it's this one. So I'm going to collect some magic from it. And yes, there we go. So mine is at an enchantment level three. Um, and I've got a bit of a way to go with the relic tokens part of the... Oh, wait, that's his Disney Parks relic tokens. Oh, <laughs> I must have made a mistake there. Um, it's part of the, it must be part, no, it's not. No, I think it is part of the Cinderella collection, but you have to uh, use Disney Park relic tokens. Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, but yes, yeah, so I suggest to put it, in fancy land uh, let us know in the comment section where you have yours um and also uh if you've got any ideas uh, to go with it as well um but yeah that is it for this video hopefully you have enjoyed if you have make sure to give it a big like subscribe follow us on instagram and threads at disney kingdomers and like i say um, get in the comment section and let us know any other attractions you want to see in this series or just anything to do with uh, the Princess Fairy Tale Hall. Okay, well, thank you everyone for watching, and hopefully, we see you at the next video and hopefully also at one of our Disney Magic Kingdom's live streams. Okay, everyone, bye. bye.